Some winter goodies for Dad. Um, slippers and warm clothes. He loves his tracksuits and good old Chester bonds and chocolates. Kylie Kellett has only just become used to this new routine, taking the short trip to her father's aged care home in Sydney's northwest. Like I feel like I found Nirvana the day I found that home for my dad. It's been a tumultuous six months for Kylie and her 83-year-old dad, Ray, a former football player from Western Australia. Last year, his dementia worsened and his four children had to put him into aged care. Up until then, he'd been living independently in Broken Hill. It's not something I thought would ever happen to my dad. You know, he's so still physically capable, um, still mobile. It's just, yeah, his mind now isn't, yeah. Ray has finally settled in, but soon he'll be uprooted again. Last week, the home's operator, Wesley Mission, announced that the centre will shut down. He's found his place and now we've got to move him again and that's really tough. Yeah. Not just for our family, but for all residents. For Dad, everything he's known for the last, you know, or since September, is going to change. For us, it's the emotional upheaval of trying to find somewhere else and somewhere as wonderful. Can you go through that again? I'm dreading having to move him and have him resettle to somewhere else. Two other Wesley Mission homes in Sydney will also close, leaving around 200 residents and their families scrambling to find new accommodation. 250 workers have been offered redundancies. When you signed up six months ago, was it clear to you that the home would close? No, not at all. Not at all. That would have been a big factor in not even, you know, looking as, a, as an option for Dad. It, it's not a good time to be a provider of aged care. We are seeing providers having to look very closely at whether they can keep their doors open. The closures reflect the deeper problems in the aged care sector, recovering from the COVID pandemic and struggling with staff shortages. I can't say that other providers won't close. We will see more providers make the decision, the very sad and difficult decision to leave this sector. We have something like 70% of, of residential care providers currently are losing money and the average sized facility is probably losing around a million dollars a year. And most providers cannot continue under those, that situation. Um, and, and you know that's why we really need to see funding to aged care increase. Wesley Mission told 7.30 it's closing its Sydney homes because of increasing commercial and workforce pressures, as well as additional government requirements. The new rules include having a 24-hour registered nurse on duty at all times and increasing the minutes in care each resident receives. You've got a really difficult situation trying to make the numbers work, but also in the face of those staff shortages. The two put together are just a perfect storm. Around Australia, other operators are closing too, including in Byron Bay in northern New South Wales. In February, operator Ferros Care announced it would close its 40-bed facility in the centre of town prompting a fierce community backlash. I'm not going, I'll be the last one out. Mick and I are the last one out. Ferros Care also says the government's new regulations are the reason for the closure. It plans to redevelop the site as affordable seniors housing. 95-year-old Kate Smorty is among the remaining residents. We're not going, that's, that's the end of the story and we're just staying where we are. You mean to take the bag? Today, Kate is visiting her daughter, Diane. She and other family members have lodged a formal complaint with the Aged Care Quality and Safety Commissioner, claiming some staff have made residents feel pressured to hurry up and leave. Please stop pestering the residents who are remaining there by every day going and talking to them and saying, you must find a place to live, this place is going to close down, you must find a place to live, you know, you're going to have to go. 
Ferros Care has denied it's putting pressure on residents, telling 7.30 no residents have been bullied or pressured, adding the home will remain open until all residents have been supported to find suitable accommodation. Any redevelopment of this site will be for affordable seniors' accommodation. Wesley Mission has told 7.30 that its three homes in Sydney will continue to operate until all 200 residents find a new place to live. Even so, that still means that scores of family members will be scrambling and competing to find new homes in a deeply fraught and costly exercise. Kylie Kellett has begun searching for a new home for her dad, Ray. I would like to think that this could never happen to other families or to another facility.